welcome to Kim's Creations. I am going to attempt the Larimar effect, my fourth try. So I've had three other goes, and so far, in terms of color and interest, my first one was the best. So I'm thinking it was beginner's luck, really. Um, in my first one, though, I had mixed up way too much resin. Uh, well, not like way, way, but quite a bit. So the second one, not quite enough. My ratios were a little off and my colors, it basically turned into gray and white. My third attempt, um, I had a little bit of color, but it was still quite um, muted. But the cell formations were more defined. So, pros and cons to each one. So I'm going again, like I said, attempt number four. So I've got my four cups, and I this time I'm gonna use different colors because I'm getting sick of using the blue and the purple. And I thought I would do orange and yellow. So again, I am using acrylic inks by Holbein. I have Pyrrole Orange and I have Hansa Yellow that I will be using. And let's see, so my first one, I'm going to put cup number one, I've got five cups, cup number one I am going to put in, I guess it depends on which one I want where, I think my first one I'll put in the orange, so I'm going to do five drops of orange, one, two, Three, four, five. There's the five drops. My second cup. I'm going to do six drops. One, two, three, five. My white is cup three, and I'm gonna do five drops. Maybe I'll do four drops. Should I do four drops and see what happens? It really needs like four and a half. So, okay, that was one. three, four, and maybe I'll just put like, oh, that's probably four, five drops, but it wasn't a full one. All right, so that's my white, and this is gonna be my push. I'm not gonna use all of it though, and this time I'm gonna remember to put in some of this pearl white. I am just gonna mix up my white here in the cup first though and put it into my mold. Let's move these off. Let's see what happens. I'm pouring this in first to give the bubbles a chance to disperse. All right, that's my white. That off to the side, clean my stick. If you do this, it kind of helps release the bubbles that get stuck to the base of the mold and uh, get them to come up. And then you want to wet the edges of your mold and basically let this white get into all the crevices. Helps to decorate bits of your mold. Pop that down. All right, I'm gonna torch this. Torch carefully. All right. 
let's get on to mixing. So I've got my orange here. This was the pyro orange. All right, so I had put five drops. Let's do six. Six. Some people like Julie Cutts, who I follow at Pouring Your Heart Out, will add like a drop of black um, to these. I don't know if I'm gonna do that yet. Because <laughs> I don't want to make the colors dark. I wanna make them vivid, but I do realize that, obviously when you're mixing it with the white, they are gonna get, the color is gonna blend out. All right. This one is my yellow and it has six drops in it. One. One. I will just go for it. Let's see. All right, do I have, oh no. Ha, I almost forgot again to add in the pearl. But I didn't. Now, see if I can open up this bag. And all it does is pearlize your paints. Uh, what have I got on here? Probably have dog hair. Okay, just a little there. That's probably more than I needed. I'll, I'll deal with that later. <laughs> just a little bit of the stuff goes a really long way. And it gives your, your um, paints a beautiful sheen. All right, I'm back. And you can see how this is, hopefully see how this is pearlized. It's got a nice sheen to it. And we'll see what happens. Really nice sheen. All right, so this is cup two. Cup two. All right, here we go. We're gonna dump in two, then one, and I'm gonna put them in fairly quickly. Okay, there's that one. And now, one, again, I'm gonna dump it in pretty quickly. Now I still have my clear push, which I'm just gonna do a little bit of. That much. All right, let's see what happened. I don't know if you all can see in here, but it has closed up in and around the glitter that I put in. Um, but I don't know, we got the white, we've got this cool yellowy, orangey area, and then very orange. All right, I, it, I don't know. Let's just crack this egg open. Right, let's see. Ooh. 
Ooh. Okay, it is pretty. It's very pretty. Wow. Yeah, it's really pretty. And I've got the one, two, two and a half, <laughs> two and a half, three maybe in there. So um, I'm actually very pleased with this. What's interesting is that my resin is still a little soft on the edges. So hopefully that'll harden up. And I love my combination in the center of my my two glitters. So I think that worked well. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to make more of these. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> all right, let me know what you all think of this one. Um, yeah, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that thumbs up and the notification bell and you'll be notified of the next time I put up a video. Thanks as always for being here. I appreciate you all. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.